My name is Catherine Aiello, and this is my studio at the Washington Street Arts Center. Welcome. I always have a lot of different projects going on at a time, and I like to be able to take breaks from one to work on another or to have different media to work in. I'm never bored, and I'm also never finished. Sometimes when I start a project, I can't really know if it's going to become a bigger series or if it's just going to be a one-off. Sometimes I make something and sort of simmer on it for a couple of months or even years and then come back to it in a new way. One big project or thread that I've been working on is a body of work that I'm calling Power and Service, which is a bunch of work in all different media that I've been making inspired by the job and food service that I've had over the last four years. At the moment, I'm not working because of the coronavirus pandemic and the resulting shutdowns, so I'm figuring out how that will play into this body of work. At the moment, I've been doing some drawings of window signs that I've been finding in restaurants and other businesses around the Cambridge, Somerville area, places where I'm walking or biking. And so I've been taking pictures of the handmade signs that business workers or owners have made and put in their sign to communicate with people about whether they're open or not or if they have new limitations and restrictions. And so I've been taking those and making little um, drawings of them. An ongoing project is making quilts. For about the last four years, my partner and I have been making baby quilts for babies that are born to either friends or family members. A lot of times these end up being really fun experiments in figuring out how to make a pattern with the fabric and colors that I happen to have already. Mostly I assemble the quilt and then Whitney does the hand stitching to quilt it together. I really love open studios, so I'm so sad we're not able to have them in pers person this year. I just think it's a really exciting opportunity for people to interact with each other and share space with strangers in a really unique way. It's just not that common in our society for a stranger to invite you into their space and just say, here, come in, see what I'm passionate about. Um, but I just love that at open studios, you don't have to buy anything, you don't have to know anyone, you don't have to even know anything about art, but you're still just welcomed in and get to meet new people. So in this strange virtual open studios, I really hope we're still able to share a little bit of that spirit. If you want to see more of my work, you can visit my website. It's www.catherineiello.com. I've taken this virtual open studios as a motivator to update it and add some more current work. There's also a link through my site to my Etsy site if you're interested in purchasing anything. Thanks so much and enjoy open studios.